As many of you are aware, crypto is under attack. And yes, that means your Bitcoin too. Our public servants and the SEC are egregiously and unjustly going after crypto asset companies, most notably Library, Ripple, slash XRP. And they're also going after crypto asset exchange providers. More recently, Coinbase, Binance, and Binance US. But mainstream media is not telling you some very important pieces of information here. And in today's show, we're going to talk about Coinbase and some of the facts. And I all know that you love to watch the O Show, everything crypto and NFTs, every day to get your unbiased news. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and set alerts. So first and foremost, Coinbase went in and saw the SEC 30 times in 2022. Coinbase, who is now being sued by the SEC, went in to see the SEC 30 times in 2022 and was given no legal clarity as to what is a security and what isn't or any way that they can change their business to comply with laws and regulations. The reason why? There are no laws and regulations put into place when it comes to crypto assets. That's problematic to me. Next, Coinbase has actually worked alongside ICE for AML purposes to protect us, to make sure nothing sketchy is going on their exchange. And probably the most upsetting part about this is I've been a Coinbase user since 2017, end of 2017. That's actually where I bought my first crypto assets, um, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. That's all that they had listed there. And I believe they decided to list more because again, no guidance by the SEC. And even before 2017, Coinbase was one of the places people just went to buy crypto in the United States of America, but the SEC doesn't care. And the last piece of information I wanna give you is any time a crypto asset gets confiscated by American authorities, guess where they go to liquidate it? They liquidate it at Coinbase. That means you do something bad, you break the law, and you're found guilty, and your assets are taken from you by the United States government, public servants, etc. They go to Coinbase to liquidate that. The fact that coin or excuse me, the fact that the SEC is going after Coinbase but didn't provide any guidance as to what they can do better as a business, hasn't indicated what is a security and what isn't a security, and actually are allowing public servants to sell their crypto assets that they confiscate from people there is very, very problematic to me. Not to mention, the SEC approved Coinbase to go public back in 2021. It's not easy to go public. You have to complete forms, you have to have money, you have to be on the up and up for the SEC to prove you to go public and have a stock. But the SEC went ahead and did that. Hopefully Coinbase becomes victorious against the SEC and Gary Gensler goes because what's happening is unjust, it's unethical, and it's very scary for the future of America. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.